see me rolling, the hating, patrolling, and trying to catch me rolling, nearly. Undead, thanks for the host. Right, be with you in a sec. Good. We're Gucci. Oh my god. Right, bear with me a sec, guys. Let's clean up some last minute touches. And plus this gives me a chance to for people this gives a chance to people to get in. It's the final week, ladies and gentlemen, of this uh, well, the penultimate week, if you will. Before the um, what I call it, before the uh, <coughs> the pay per view, a week on Thursday is the pay per view. The pa a week on Thursday. Yo, what up, Big Amish? Right, let's just balance this out a little bit. Okay, let's get our let's get our shit together. Right, like I said, the big week on Thursday is the pay per view. January 25th, uh, not January 25th, June 25th, sorry. Thank you, thanks for the host. June 25th is the big pay-per-view. And I am very happy to tell you. Uh, and also, the big Amish will be making his in-ring debut at the pay-per-view June 25th. He's about to go one-on-one -on -one with the guy you're seeing on your screens right now. That's right. It is made. Trey Mercer or T-Ray Mercer, whatever he wants to call himself, will go one-on-one -on -one with the Big Amish. And he will welcome the Big Amish to GMW officially June 25th. Because that's when the big man will make his in-ring debut for GMW. So it should be a dandy. Also, the horse challenges. Uh, horse challenges. Superman for the world title. By the way, all is good, everybody. Hope everybody else is good as well. Prophecy, thanks for the host. Hope everybody else is good. This is, like I said, the penultimate week for GMW, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the penultimate week before the unfinished business pay per view, which is next week. And I'm very much looking forward to the pay per view as well the pay-per-view which is headlined by the hell in the cell match the hell in the cell match which is uh, uh ferrari thanks for the host which is um headlined by the unified television title match which is inside hell in the cell 
by the way. Yes, Undertaker defends against OJJ, Orange Juice Jones. And you'll be seeing him tonight, hopefully. So there I am, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, 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 hello. Hope you're all well. Like I said, I will run through some of the points that is going to be taking place tonight. I don't need you. So tonight you're going to see T-Ray Mercer kick off. You know what I mean? What's up, man? All is good. Uh, guys, if you haven't followed this man, um, just give you a quick shout. Just give a quick shout out to this man, please. Uh, if you haven't followed him, please do so. All is well. Fog family personified, let me tell you. So, yeah, go and give him a check out, guys. Hope all is well, sir. Hope all is well to everybody in the chat. Thank you all for the hosts and the lurks and whatever. Yes, we're going to kick off with tag team. I'm trying to get some contenders for my tag team titles. Yes, the tag team championships are held by me and OJJ, pretty much the Wolfpack Mafia, because we've been dominating. Yeah, I wish I was back at work, mate. I really do wish I was back at work. Like I've said many times, if they called me tomorrow and said, we need you in, so-and-so, so-and-so, for this COVID thing, we need you to watch some things and whatever, <laughs> I'd fly down there if I have to. I truly miss work, man. Like I've said, man, I truly miss work. Even though you probably don't like work, just be blessed you're at work, people. If you have work and you can go to work, be blessed. Because it's a pain in the ass staying at home at times, let me tell you, especially if you're working from home. Right, we're going to kick off with some tag team action. Like I said, I'm looking for tag team contenders that can compete with the Mafia because we have been dominant in this GMW tag team division. We pretty much own this division, really have owned it. And we can't find any... Um, let's get that light sorted out. Um, we can't find any tag team contenders or any contenders for the tag team titles, which is a fucking piss take. It really is. To be honest with you, because we want to, we we want contenders that can compete. If we lose the belts, then we lose the belts. We've had them for that long, you know. We've only lost them once. We're pretty much two-time tag team champions anyway. We've been dominant. Nobody's been able to beat us, even when they've had the opportunity. No one's been able to beat us. Cheers, great now for that host. And um, nobody's had that opportunity to beat us because we've been dominant. So. We're going to have the returning, officially returning as a tag team, um, the Fallen Disciples tonight. They're going to be in tag team action against the tandem that is the Lobos, Mr. Loco Joe and Ray Wolf. We're also going to have Toxic and Suicide go up against the the um, number one contenders, the official number one contenders for the world tag team titles, which are the Trailblazers, Kurt and Nicholas Bishop as well. Also tonight, yours truly, yes, I will be challenging the third member of the Fallen Disciples for the Hardcore Championship. That's right, I'll hopefully we'll be getting my Hardcore title back, which I lost to Azriel. Don't ask. Just don't ask. Just please don't ask. Please, 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 do not ask. Okay. Still haunts me losing to that kid, but anyway, we move on. Uh, Zelina, thanks for the host. Um, and then I'll be calling... Azriel out, speak of the devil. I'll be calling Azriel out because I have a little something to tell him, which will probably turn into a brawl because we hate each other. Three-way dance involving two people they're going to meet at the pay-per-view, um, which is going to be Coley Masters and Alicia Cole, but they're going to be in a three-way dance tonight because they've got the women's title, the women's champion in there. So this will hopefully give them a little boost of momentum tonight should they go in to their title shot. You know, so if so, when the pay per view happens and everything, maybe they'll get a title shot after the pay per view if they win the match tonight. That is, John Moxley will be calling out. I'm guessing he'll be calling out Evil Joe again. They've had a war of words and everything, and this they will meet June June 25th and unfinished business. Tuba Man has a bit of retribution because last week he was meant to have a match on Thursday, but that git. He was facing Mr. Punishment Martinez, decided to attack him. And yes, Martinez will go one on one with Loco Joe June 25th for the right to be the number one contender for the Unified Championship, the Unified World title. But tonight, a grudge match. It's non title. 
I'm guessing Punishment Martinez is using this to come at me saying, if I beat him tonight, I will stay to claim for a championship, blah, 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 blah. Same old bullshit, different day. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens tonight. Undertaker will be in action as well. I don't know why it's one of the members of the Aces and Eights when that happens, but then again, that's what this game's all about. It's just glitch personified. And he will take on big, but the, the, the Blake Bishop, easy for me to say. Loco will call out Punishment Martinez. I'll have a face-to-face, -face, probably before their pay-per-view, because, yes, if there was ever a pay-per-view called Unfinished Business that typifies a match, it's them two, because they can't seem to get away from each other. I think they've, I think they've done their rivalry in, in uh, LCW, but they can't do anything in GMW. They can't get away from each other in GMW because they always, get, they always come together at some point. But Martinez and Loco will go one-on-one, -on -one, like I say, June 25th. And the winner becomes number one contender. And yes, and this is Undertaker's idea, not mine. But Undertaker wants Goliath to fight OJJ in the main event. And uh, Undertaker's going to get his wish because OJJ accepted. So that's your main event. Goliath and OJJ, one on one. So without further ado, I don't know why I did it like that, but you, you get the point. Allow me to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to GMW. Anyway, <laughs> yes, my intro there, ladies and gentlemen. We are officially underway here in GMW. This is GMW, the... Second from last penultimate show before the pay-per-view. The pay-per-view is a week on Thursday. Next Tuesday, this time, I will do my creative behind-the-scenes shtick that I usually do when it comes to pay-per-view week. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is GMW. Games Matter Wrestling. The number one e-fed on Mixer. I just came up with that. Right. OJJ goes one-on-one -on -one with the Goliath. Tag team action tonight as well. As well as Tuba Man looking for revenge. Will he get it? New York City. NYC, baby. Big up. Let's do it. Well, I love me some New York City, let me tell you. Right. Big Amish, take notes. Because this man's probably going to be talking about you, or mostly talking about you. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is confirmed. Trey Mercer, this git on the here, he will go one-on-one. -on -one with the Big Amish, he will be the man who has the honour, who has the honour of welcoming the Big Amish into GMW. That's right, Big Amish will go one-on-one -on -one with this man, June 25th. If he'd have beat Martinez last week, it'd have probably been Martinez. Just, just going out there right now. It would have been Martinez going one-on-one -on -one with uh, the Big Amish instead. Because that was, you know... Because the winner goes to Loco. Because I was actually thinking of making it a three-way dance. And then I thought, if Mercer wins, he can take the spot. And it'll be Mercer and Loco Joe. And then it'll be... then I'll stick Martinez as punishment for losing against Big Amish. And then be, I'll feed him to the Big Amish. But uh, Big uh, Punishment Martinez won. So it's a one-on-one -on -one match. And yes, this is your man, uh, Big Amish. This is your man you're facing. This is the man. This is your guy. He's a big... He's a... He's a talented dude. He really is. He really is taking notes. Good man. Like I say... He might talk a lot of shit, but we'll see what happens. That's how this game is put, by the way. But, uh, yes. This one... I mean... Ever since winning the... The Step Up Battle Royal that I put a couple of weeks ago on the show... He's... He's had momentum, you know. You, you, you can't. I can't deny that. He's won big matches to get into the spot, and he's done nothing but win. Kind of like Martinez. Ever since Martinez lost the world championship at Feel the Heat, the matches he's had from from there to now, since after that Feel the Heat pay per view, he's done nothing but won. You know, yes, some of them have been shady, you know, but even that count out victory he got against Goldberg, I put the rematch on Thursday at MCW show, and it was an extreme rules. And he still beat Goldberg. So, 
You know, I, I can't deny that. You know what I'm saying? I can't deny it. You know, I, you, you win any way you can here in GMW. You know, you win any way you can. I've always spoke my mind. Let me, uh, let me just trim the fat on my, uh, what I call it there for a second. Right there. There you go. Stick you in a corner. Lovely jubbly. Not that it matters because the game is programmed to talk gibberish with this. But like I say, Big Amish, take, you are taking notes. You are a smart man. Take notes because this is your man. This is the guy you will be facing June 25th. And like I say, he's a talented son of a bitch, man. And if you beat this man June 25th, that's a big deal for you to kick off your uh, GMW career, my man. Because like I say, he's done nothing but one. And that will get you higher up in the title contention too, if you beat him. Like I said, you know, what it is is what it is at the end of the day. You might not win your first match and you can. You might. You ain't all that fam. Hello, welcome in. Welcome to Tuesday Night GMW. But like I say, it is. What it is is what it is. But like I say, you might not win because, like I say, this guy, yeah, it, let's hope for the best. You know. This is what this this is what this series is all about. It's not like with Jiggy the Pooh when he plays the games and everything like that. And trust me, I enjoyed what I saw of VMR last night. Really did enjoy it. Uh, that guy can put on a VMR show and make that entertaining. Hey, salute. Because like I said, it, it, like I said, but this is all about unpredictability. So it depends how your luck is, really. But that's your man right there, Big Amish. That's your guy. Like I said, he's preparing now for your match. Because like I told him last week, I said, you're facing him. It's you and Big Amish at June 25th. Will he meet you before the pay-per-view? You know? Will he meet you before the pay-per-view? Do I have one of the downloaded characters that is a super heavyweight? I've got many downloaded characters, if I'm being honest with you. The Big Amish character I created with a little help from the man himself, the Big Amish himself and by the way guys, if you're wondering who the heck is the Big Amish, if you want to think it to yourself, who is this Big Amish I talk about? Well allow me to introduce you to him he's right here right there as well, the Big Amish right there, so anyway we kick off with tag team action, the first two matches of this episode are tag team matches um, the first two episode, the first two matches of these tag team matches it's been a while since we've had Fallen Disciples here because pretty much Hannibal Black has been kicking ass by himself without the use of his comrades so it, he's pretty much been they've pretty much been kicking ass but we're going to get them in tonight and it's going to be them against the Lobos to kick off this episode the wrestling portion of this episode of GMW, Games Matter Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. It'll be here tonight, and I'll be back again on Thursday as well for another show. So that is what you get Tuesdays and Thursdays on this very channel, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what Mixer say, Mixer don't like it tough. Okay? Like I say, as you know, guys, it's the partner push now. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, as you see in there, that's just popped up in the chat, tips are welcome, but they're not necessary, Okay? That is, do that out of your own occurrence. Do that out of your own will. Non-refundable, but do that out of your own will. Okay, you're not being forced or anything like that. If you like what you see and you, you know, tip and everything. But I've started to do it now on Streamlabs since everybody else is doing it on Streamlabs. So I thought, why not do it on Streamlabs yourself? So that's where you go now to to tip. I don't know how you do it. I've never tipped anybody. Not that I remember anyway. I think I've tipped a few people. Uh, donated a few people, but um, like I said, I, I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've done it. So, like I said, like I said, do it out your own, your own will, your own free will, your own occurrence, if you will. Like I said, it's entirely up to you. There's none refundable. So think about it before you do it. That's what I'm saying. So, anyway, tag team action. Let's kick off the wrestling because this is games matter wrestling, not games matter chatting. So, this is GMW. We wrestle here on this uh, in this promotion. Get my freaking dressing gown out of the way. Being a nuisance as per usual. Right. So yes, we have what is it? 
The Fallen Disciples, ladies and gentlemen. Now, allow me to give you some background of the Fallen Disciples. These are pretty much a group, pretty much that I created. I downloaded the characters. I'll let him speak. Yes, they are the Fallen. The Fallen Disciples. These guys were pretty much a, a replacement for a certain group called the Fallen Wasteland, which I fired last season. Because they're scumbags. And very weird in respects. So these guys were the replacement. So And these guys are ten times better than what, what I had last time. So The Fallen Disciples. Maverick. I believe it's Maverick Fox and Logan Storm. And they're going to go up against an established tag team, not just here in GMW, but in LCW too, which is, stands for Local Crazy Wrestling. A very established tag team called the Lost Local Lobos, which is former World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you. The Lost Loco Lobos, Loco Joe on the right, the former World Heavyweight Champion, and the man who will meet Punishment Martinez June 25th at the pay-per-view against Ray Wolf. And Ray Wolf on the left, I suppose. And he's a former Unified Television cha He's a former Unified Television Champion. He's a former TV Champion, uh, Internet Television Champion as well. But these two are very hungry Despite the fact that Oak, obviously Loco is hungry to get his belt back, which is the World Heavyweight Championship, he all, these two also, or the Lobos in general, also want to be the tag team champions. They have never been the tag team champions in this three-year series, or three-year season of the series. So they've never been the World Tag Team Champions, and they want to be the World Tag Team Champions. So will they? Like I said, they've had chances, but like I say, the Mafia's been dominant. We can't complain. So Maverick Fox, he's a freaking big man. I didn't realize how big he was. Maverick Fox, one-on-one -on -one with Loco Joe to kick this tag match off. That's a snap mare, ladies and gentlemen, what you've just seen there from an elbow counter. And naturally bold is how we beat Bret Hart to feel the heat. So Maverick now, very agility, double underhook, German suplex. I believe that's called a tiger suplex. I have to rethink that, but it's a German suplex nonetheless. Logan Storm is in now. Drop kick. These two, these two, the uh, Fallen Disciples have to be, all these two members of the Fallen Disciples have to be very impressed with Hannibal Black because he's went out and won singles titles. And he's, at the moment right now, the Fallen Disciples have possession of that hardcore title. That could change tonight when I face Hannibal Black for the hardcore championship later on. So there you go, Ray Wolf. Beautiful drop kick. Like I say, Ray Wolf is no slouch, ladies and gentlemen. He's a very talented, former LCW Intercontinental Champion, former Internet Television Champion here in GMW. But the only downside to this man is, the only downside to this man is, he hasn't lost in a, he hasn't won in a while, pretty much. So that's the only downside to this. That is the biggest. Slice bread move you'll ever see. And Maverick gets a two count. Nope. I, I stand corrected. That was Logan Storm. My bad. He's the big man now. Maverick. Look at the size of this guy. I bet they use him as a bodyguard. Seriously. I didn't realize how big he was. I think this is his very first... I think this is his in-ring debut. Because I haven't... You know, we have... I don't think I've used him yet. But this is his first chance to show me something. And I didn't realize how big he was. Loco, the more experienced member of the Lobos. Not saying that uh, Ray Wolf doesn't have any experience, but he's, like I said, but he, experience wise comes with belts as well because he's the, the unified, he's a former world champion in GMW and in LCW too. I've had my differences with him as well. I've been in the ring with the guy. Maverick now off the rope. Just runs right into Loco. Very much forearm there. Like I said, the experience lies with the Lobos. There's no question about that. The experience matter in this matchup. 
You know, it goes with the Lobos, if you're talking experience-wise. Because these two are very, um, exp you know, very well established, established tag team. Like I say, because in, well, there's that German suplex again, the double underhook German suplex. As well, the chicken wing version of the suplex, of the German suplex. That is an all around the world DDT. That's a running ne neck breaker. Like I said, guys, these two tag matches tonight, you're going to see this one and the Trailblazers up next in their tag match against Suicide and Toxic. It's just basically looking for contenders because we've got to establish ourselves as a, you know, we've got to, we beat everybody there is, but we've got to look for t contenders. I mean, at the moment right now, the Trailblazers are the number one contenders, if you're talking rank-wise. They are the number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles. No ifs, ums, or buts about it, because nobody's beaten them yet. You know, Suicide and Toxic might put established a statement on that later on. But nobody's, like, beaten them yet. So, at the moment right now, they are the official uh, World Tag Team champions. They are the official um, number one contenders for the belts as well. So, we'll have to wait and see in that respect. Um, yes, uh, the matches that are coming up also, I'll say this now, the matches are coming up, that's the local effect, version of the Judas effect. One, uh, two, and only a two count though. Reverse DDT on Maverick there from Ray. The matches that are coming up at the pay-per-view that have been signed, we all know what the main event is. It's the uh, Undertaker versus OJJ in the Hell in the Cell for the Unified Television title. That is the main event. That's a frog splash. One, two, and just about broke that up. There's the knee. Can you get this cover on that one? Can the referee be a little bit more quicker, please? Two. I wish you could work on the referee's positioning on this game as well. Like, train them a little bit, but anyway. But yes, it's the unified television title match. Horse challenges uh, Tuba Man for the world title as well. Loco one-on-one with Punishment Martinez. Trey Mercer one-on-one -on -one with the Big Amish. Moxley goes one-on-one -on -one with Evil Joe. There might be a few more matches added tonight as well. So, like I said, that's that cutter that, he be, that he's used to beat people with. But... Uh, couldn't be there. That's a Hurricane Rana. Maverick's out now, so this is a low cost chance. But Logan Storm comes back in, and he's locoing up now. Loco, Loco Joe, wishing he was Hulk Hogan. Beautiful. The Loco boot, the Loco leg drop. Doesn't go for the Loco cover, but anyway. Nope, goes and tags, gets a hot tag, but goes and tags in Ray Wolf. And yes, I'm having my tea. Cooks, no thanks for the host. Cookie star, or cookster. I was right the first time. Right. Hope everybody's staying safe wherever you may be. Don't worry, guys. It's soon going to be over. That's if nothing gets fucked up, of course. Like I said, my man there came in there and said he was at work. And everything. He's always got like the opportunity to work, man. If you are working, guys, be privileged to be working. You might not like your job. But I, like I said, if they called me tonight the butter and said can you come back in tomorrow and do some work with us and you know work the matches and everything like that I'll be there in a flash I also just found out the day that uh, the stand that I work on we might be the last I think they're going to go like in stands of what stands they're going to get in like order I think they've made like some sort of like an order when they go, of, of, of the stands when you know what stands are going to get the uh, the fans back pretty much and apparently we are the last stand to do it, the West Stand Lower South, so it is what it is. Can't complain. You know, 
What it is is what it is. That's a frog splash, brain busted frog splash combination. But I've also been over there. One, two, and he just kicked out. I've also said as well, there's going to be a lot of people still going to be wearing the mask. You know, I could just see it right now. A lot of people are going to be thinking, this, like, oh, it's because it's over and everything. They're still going to be wearing the mask, so <laughs> I could probably have to deal with it. I mean, it's going to be a lot, probably a lot different and a lot harder when I eventually go back to work. So, like I say, but until then, the grind goes on on this stream, because like I say, it's all about the partnership, guys. And like I say, I appreciate everybody coming in, helping me out tonight with the, host, with the hosts, the views, the fault, well, not the followers yet, but I've had some followers offline, you know. You guys are awesome, man. It's you guys that help me push on and keep going and keep going and keep going. Yes, I've had a setback, but it's like what Rev said. It's a starting point. So it's my job to build on it now. Yes, the grind don't stop. Like I said, uh, I've, had, I've had a lot of good people. I've had a lot of good people uh, give me good advice, especially the fog and everything like that. i got to keep going. I've, I've got this far as well I've got this far and uh, I've had a look at my um, my analytics as far as the stream is concerned at least um, thanks for the host um, Imani um, I've had a look at the vet and I've had, I've had I've had about in total 640 views so that's what I've seen um, so I'm just gonna build on that basically I just keep building and building and building. Like I say, stay away from the big, the big uh, one, two, still two. Stay, stay away from the popular games. Only play the popular games if you play with. Um, if I'm collaborating um, with people, but uh, if I'm doing this like tonight as well, play this kind of game as well. But like I say, guys, you're gonna get this every Tuesday and Thursday. GMW is not gonna change. Whether mix a like or not, or not, you're going to get GMW Tuesdays and Thursdays. You're getting Red Dead tomorrow. I have, a, I swear to God, guys, I have an itch. I have a craving to play Spider-Man. I really do have a craving to play Spider-Man. I want to play Spider-Man. I really do. I have an absolute craving for it. You know, with the, with the playthrough that I'm doing, I want to do one for Spider-Man as well. So I'm kind of thinking, do I add that to Friday... And do that on Friday week, like I do with Red Dead. Or do I wait until I finish Red Dead and then do it, and then replace it with Red Dead? Because I do have a craving. I want to play Spider-Man again. Like I say, Spider-Man, the best game on PS4 not to be on Xbox. In my opinion. This ma tag team match, it's a good match. I'll give this tag team match a good match. Good way to kick off the show. What are you going to do there? Oh, the... Double stomp at the back, that's got to hurt. Especially with a guy the size of uh, Maverick coming down on you. Good grief. That's a sad suplex. Trust me, if you do not land properly taking that move, bye-bye, neck. That's all I'm saying. And like I say, I know because I've been in the ring. Yes, Xbox guy. <laughs> like I said, I mean, my brother asked me the other day, would you prefer Xbox or PS4? Yes, I'm a PS4 guy. I'm a PlayStation guy. That's not going to change. But I don't hate. I appreciate. I'll play everything. I'm a gamer. That's what I do. You know. It's what I do. It's who I am. You know. I can't hate. I appreciate. You know. Xbox. I'll play Xbox. I'll play PlayStation. I'll play PC. I'll even get my old. Friggin. The old retro gamings, games out. And stream them if I could. You know. It is what it is. That's the life of a gamer ladies and gentlemen. That's the life of a gamer. And I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Cover. Maverick. Oh, and he just... Ray Wolf just broke that up there. Great tag team match between these two. Very good tag team match. Maverick now. This is going to be a brain buster uh, frog splash combo. Can we get a cover? Are we going to get the victory? One, 
two. No, Storm breaks that up. This is the capability of what happens here in GMW. Look, as you can see, I have no control pad. Okay? Yes, I have the bars open there, but I'm doing something else offline. I have no control pad, as you can see. I just book the matches when it comes to GMW. I book the matches, I make the matches, maybe create some storylines. That's all I do. Everything else, it's done by itself. And that's why it's called, that's why the unpredictability is so cool when it comes to this, man. I mean, if you could make, like, if you could do what GM, what uh, Jiggy the Pooh Gaming does with his VMR, and if you could make it entertaining like he does, fair play to you. Like I say, I asked him when I first went in, and I said, why do you play the games? He says, because he doesn't want to be considered an E-Fed. Which is fair enough. I mean, people have came in here and said, oh, you've got an E-Fed promotion. Honestly, I could give a crap what this is, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's my promotion. Games by Wrestling is my promotion. You know, Closest thing I'm ever going to get to uh, running a real promotion, if you know what I mean. So, hey, I enjoy wrestling. It is what it is. Call it what you want. And all about you, but it's fun booking matches, man. It really is fun booking matches and creating storylines and that. Because, I mean, I have a creative imagination. Maybe too creative for my liking, especially when it comes to this. So, the whole thing's just fun to do. And I've been doing this ever since Twitch. And then, like I said, I brought, it, I brought this over here. And I have to say, this is one of my best things I do on this in my, out of my schedule of what I do in terms of streaming on this on this platform. This is one of the best things I do. Did he just do a... What I call it there? Rips it a can of eight. Are the Lobos going to take the count out? I think they are. I think they are. I can't hate on that. Fair play. And fair play to Ray Wolf for uh, having that instinct. A win's a win in GMW, no matter how you get it. Bootwoto. Bootwoto. That's your opinion, and okay, but I'm going to say this to you right now, and I say this in the most respectful way. Fucking Corbin. Okay? The only thing good about Corbin is his entrance music. And he's a good streamer too. Yes, I have seen one of Corbin's streams. Yes, it was a good match. Good way to kick off the paper, this episode of GMW, ladies and gentlemen. And that's one tag team match down the drain. Or the start, if you will. On to part two. Because we've got another tag match coming up. We have... We have Suicide and Toxic, and the, like I said, the ranked, if you're talking about GMW rankings in terms of, um, in terms of the, uh, the, uh, what I call it, in, in respects of the, uh, in respects of the, uh, what I call it, the rankings, tag team rankings, um, these are the number one contenders. I'm talking about the Trailblazers, Kurt and Nicholas Bishop. And to be honest with you, tag team, these two, and I'm talking about Kurt and Nicholas Bishop, are the only team in this series that have given the Wolfpack problems in terms of tag team. You know, because they've beaten us before. There's no question about that. They are former tag team champions. They have beaten us before. But they only lasted uh, one week. Because um, they ended up, we ended up getting the belts back the, the, the following week. Uh, WCW have a pay per view to WWE in the past. Yeah, I have heard about the <coughs> WCW one night stand. I've heard about that. Like I said, despite all the crap that's going on with the COVID and everything, me being short of money and everything due to this COVID and not being able to work and everything. I cannot get rid of the. <laughs> I cannot get rid of the network, because the network is where all the old WCW stuff, the real WCW stuff is. You can't get rid of the network, 
And by the way, part four of The Undertaker. Holy moly. Guys, if you haven't seen that Undertaker documentary, if you haven't got the network, go find it on YouTube. Go and download it illegally, watch it, whatever. It's a must watch. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's legit, let me tell you. And you get to see a side of The Undertaker you probably normally never see. Even that, even that one where he missed uh, WrestleMania, he was even thinking to himself, I need to be there. You know? You can't get away from it. That's the thing. You cannot get away from WWE. He wants to get away from it. He's even said it himself in the documentary. He wants to get away from it, but he can't. Because he loves the business so much. He's even envious of Shawn Michaels when he retired. You know? Because he was in a good place. I guess you can call these my street profits. I guess. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Have your own way on that one. I'm consider like I said, tomorrow guys I've got Red Dead Redemption. Um the betrayal is gonna happen tomorrow on that um story mode. It's gonna be a lot of betrayal tomorrow, let me tell you. Uh Slamboree, Halloween have a grin and make a bash, bash at the beach, world wild in the mall. Yes. Good shit, let me tell you. Good stuff. Um Yes, uh, there's going to be a lot of betrayal. And they'll be back with this again on Thursday. There'll be more GMW on Thursday. Um, same time as normal. Uh, Friday? I'm kind of thinking of attempting to do Friday the 13th. This Friday. I'm tempted. But it all depends if I might do something else as well. It all depends. It all depends what I can get sorted out as well. It all depends what I can get sorted out. Cheers for the uh, auto host. Big Amish. And like I say, guys, if you have WWE 2K20 and you have a PS4 and you have a character and you want to be on the show, upload your character, uh, hashtag GMW, or upload it to the community creations, let me know and I'll download it. Yes. Like I say, if, that's the beauty about the network, Boot. That's the beauty about the network. You try and watch the new stuff now, or well, the new stuff, WWE stuff. You try and watch it now, and you get fed up with it, and you get annoyed by it. You get on the network, you just watch the old stuff again, and you're like, ah. Because you, know you know for a fact the old stuff's good. The new stuff. Although I kind of enjoyed Raw yesterday. Uh, Backlash was all right. Nothing special. But... Uh, I thought Raw was alright yesterday. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't great. I'm not saying it was great before anybody starts having a go at me. It was okay. Very weird seeing the big show back as well, by the way. He's probably going to come back for one night only. What the hell is Tozawa's new group, these ninjas? No, not nice to watch. It's not the greatest thing to watch now. I'd rather watch AEW myself, but that's just me. Suplex by Nicholas Bishop. Which one's which? Uh, Toxic's in now. Kurt in now with Toxic. It's a good thing I've got this little thing next to me here. Oh, the headbutt there. Bloody Nora. Speaking of suicide and toxic, ladies and gentlemen, these two have had... Um, these two have had um, the... Uh, well, pretty much an advisor here at GMW. There's, there's somebody who's been advising them in their matches and everything. Not that it's worked, but somebody has been, been advising them. Who it is, I have not a Scooby-Doo. So, 
hopefully we will find out before long. Like I say, who it is, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. I'm trying to figure it out myself. But, uh, like I say, we'll see what, I, hopefully we'll find out in the coming weeks. Toxic thing now with Kurt, I believe, or Nicholas. Which one's, yes, it's Nicholas Bishop. Trailblazers are ranked number one contenders for the World Tag Team titles as well. Um, they are the ranked number one contenders. Uh, hopefully, and I use that term, I use that word loosely, hopefully, uh, Toxic and Suicide could put a, a damper on that. Or they'd be looking to put a damper on that. First cover, I believe, of the match, and it's only a one cam. So... How was that? Whatever it was, it was an effective move. So we got Toxic and Suicide. Toxic's in now with Nicholas Bishop, I believe, and he's just tagged back in Suicide. What the hell are you doing? Communication. Going for a suplex, reverse suplex. Turns it into a suplex of his own. Very nice. Went out, then clothesline, duck of the clothesline. What's this here? That is a stunner. Suplex right into a stunner move. I'm actually tempted as well to go back on Friday to finish off uh, Call of Duty uh, World War Two again. I thought I could finish it off on Monday, but I didn't. So I might, I might do that again on Friday. We'll see. We'll see what happens on Friday. But like I said, Red Dead Redemption is tomorrow, guys. So. No, but it's going to be. I'm warning you now. There's going to be a lot of betrayal tomorrow, in the story mode. I think I'm up to the point where it's going to be a lot of betrayal, and uh, what's his name's illness is going to kick in too. So we'll see what happens. Like I say, hopefully you can join me for that seven o'clock UK time. I'm not like I say, guys, on the channel. I'm not going to play the big uh, games as well. Like the established popular games like Call of Duty, Warzone, and Fortnite, and whatever. Um, like I say, unless I'm playing with somebody, unless I'm collabing with somebody. That's the only time you're going to get it. As well. So, that's the only time you're going to get them. I will play them offline, but um, if you want, I'm only going to play them if I'm going to be collaborating with somebody. Because apparently they could be. I, I, there could be a big reason for me not to get for partner. Because like I say, I'm not bullshitting you now, guys. It's going to be, it's all about partner on this channel. The partner push. I have 90 days to correct it. Um, September will be my time to go for it again, at least. But, uh... <laughs> like I say, there's no errors. Yeah, there's no errors on this boot. You get ruthless aggression. You get any, You get all sorts on this. In this promotion. Because that's how we roll. That's how we roll in GMW. That's how we kick ass in GMW. We hold nothing back. Beautiful DDT. This is what you see as well, guys. You get great tag team wrestling... This is, this is one thing that annoys me about this game. is the timing of the taunts. As you clearly saw there with uh, Toxic. That's what really annoys me about this game, man. The timing. You know, it's really, really bad timing. That's a beautiful dropkick. See, that's what, that's what I'm telling you guys. That's why the Trailblazers are the number one contenders. The ranked number one contenders for the tag team titles. Because they're so good. And like I said, they've given us a... Look at that. Roll through into Neckbreaker. Beautiful. I got, a t I got a two count. Okay. These guys are good. These guys are definitely the second best tag team in GMW, man. No doubt about it. These guys are the second best tag team in GMW. Well, obviously, we're the first. Mafia. 
Uh, ROH Wrestling, FCW Wrestling, TNT. Love to watch. Yes, that was when TNT. That was when uh, TNA even um, was at its peak, in my opinion, back then. Then weekly pay per views they used to do. The business. The weekly Wednesday night pay per views. They were fun to watch. ROH has not been good since. But it is what it is with ROH. But ROH hasn't been good since back in the days when it had. Uh, you know, back in the early days. I like the early days of Ring of Honor. Uh, FCW. I never really cared about FCW because that was once uh, a, uh, an NXT for uh, WWE at one point. Look at that. Beautiful. You know, you've got the established tag teams, you've got the Lobos, you've got the Mafia, you've got the Trailblazers, you've got Suicide and Toxic. You've got uh, complete chaos as well. All these sta established tag team team in GMW. You've got the Fallen Disciples, who you saw earlier on. You've got all these established tag teams, man. These great tag teams. Yes. Can't argue with that. That's it. Hurricane Rider there to a T. T. I look. That, that's what they need to go back to. Uh, you ain't all that. That's what they need to go back to in the series. That's why we haven't. That's why we're not getting two K twenty one this year because of this, because of the crap that came out with this game. You know, that's what they need to go back to. That's what everybody wants to go back to. Go back to SmackDown versus Raw. Or this time, SmackDown versus Raw versus NXT. You know, that's what they need to go back to. They need to bring all the 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 elements of what they had on them games. The, the GM mode and that. Yes, I know the universe mode is a universe mode and it's like a GM mode. But you can incorporate... You can incorporate the GM mode into the universe mode at some point. Or hell, create a universe mode and have a GM mode... As a mode itself, like a separate mode, have it as one, have them both as one, but you can either play universe mode or you can play GM mode. Trust me, I'll be on, I'll be, I, I would, I was never off that GM mode <laughs> back in the day. I was never off that GM mode. And if they brought that back, I will be. I played all the wrestling games. Yes, THQ, we miss you. Definitely. Yes, I played all the wrestling games. Uh, Smackdown, shut your mouth. Just bring it. Uh, here comes the pain. The Smackdown versus Raws. The 2K games. I play all the games. You know, I've even got so I've even got most of the games from the PS1 in my cupboard, or somewhere about kicking about, as well. You know, WCW Nitro, WCW Thunder, the ECW games as well. They were fun to play. You know, the ECW games. Back in the day. Oh man, they were good to play. I think Anarchy Rules was better than Hardcore Revolution, but that's just my opinion. But it was still good anyway. And the uh, the same makers that made uh, War was it Warzone? Um Who made who made the uh, acclaim? There you go. Yes, yes. Very good background theme song. Seagull Beagle. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Mafia. Again, two close tag team matches to kick off this episode, man. You gotta love it. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having my tea. So. Which is why I'm going down here. I think I say I'm not ashamed to eat. I eat my tea on there. Uh, WWF... I didn't like that game, if I'm being honest with you. I think that was just a Mortal Kombat. That was just a Mortal Kombat and uh, Street Fighter game, that. I wasn't a fan of that. Wrestling games should not be like Mortal Kombat and, and Street Fighter. You might find them fun to play. You might find them fun to play, but no. This didn't work for me. 
Uh, big man Blaze, welcome in. What's up with you? Football as well. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like that, that game in your house. A lot of stupid stuff on that. I think that in your house is. I think you can compare in your house to the All Stars game and the 2K Battleground game that's probably coming out in the, in the fall as well. I, I wasn't a fan of that game though. The other wrestling games, yes, that one didn't work for me. As well. But it was Warzone, um, Attitude, was it? WWF Attitude game. As well. Yep. I'm obsessed with wrestling. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. That's a German suplex. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I'm mad on me wrestling. You know? I even watch ICW as well, Insane Championship Wrestling, which is a promotion based in Scotland. If you guys haven't figured, if you guys don't know anything about them, you might want to look them up. That's a power bomb. Why is suicide turned into something out of Mortal Kombat? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the hell 2K was thinking, bringing it, putting this stuff in there, like that man. There he goes, back to normal. It's a wrestling game, not a freaking Mortal Kombat game, for Pete's sake. Uh, there's that rolling neck breaker again. You gotta love that move. Right. I'm going to get a tag. Yes, we are. Like I said, two good tag team matches to kick off the paper, uh, to kick off the show, guys. Two good tag matches. Double team. What are we going to do here? What's this? Oh, that's it. Sort of like getting into like a figure four stance and he just kicks the leg. That sucks. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful German suplex. Elbow, uh, he elbow headbutt even, or chin butt buster, or chin breaker. That's a neck breaker. Beautiful uh, neck breaker there as well. Yeah, very athletic, the Trailblazers. Great tag team, too. Like I said, the only tag team that's given us real competition here in uh, GMW. That's a frog splash, but he got the knees up. Snake eyes. I think the Blazers now are toying with uh, suicide and toxic now. Mainly suicide. Shot move coming up. Nope. I think he missed time that. He was going for that neck breaker again, but I think he missed time that from face lock. That's a power slam. Beautiful power slam. Pace is slowed a little bit in this matchup.
for a tag team match to kick this off. Power bomb. Love the unfollowers here on Mixer. It's a elbow. Duck, duck of the clothesline. Uh, double leg Boston Crab. Oh boy. Beautiful suplex into a stunner. Coming up next, guys. The Hardcore Championship is on the line. Yours truly challenges Fallen Disciple member Hannibal Black. That's coming up next. If this match will ever finish. We may be a while in these tag matches. Hmm. Mm. The most OP move in this game. That superplex. That move is so overused in this game, it's not even funny. So overused, that move. It really is. Left at a count of six. The fight is sprung to the outside. We're going to get a double count out. Yep, double count out. And we move on. To be fair, guys, I kind of saw that coming, if I'm being honest with you. I kind of knew it was going to go down that route. Here we go. Hardcore Championship. The only title match tonight as well. The only title match tonight. So the hardcore title will be on, is on the line now. It's me, one-on-one -on -one with Hannibal Black. Former hardcore champion myself, I won the tournament to, uh, to re-establish the hardcore championship. I won the tournament. Uh, And then I ended up losing it to Azrael. I ended up losing the belt to Azrael. Azrael lost it to Moxley. And then Hannibal Black beat Moxley for the belt. And he's had it ever since. So. It's established now. I might very well do that down the road. You never know. Yeah. Uh, GMW Universal Championship. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, I'd make it ten times better. I'd make it ten times better than the WWE one, but that's a another story for another day. Right, here we go. Here 
Here we go. Hardcore title is on the line now. I call championship of the world, ladies and gentlemen. Unified tag team champion is yours truly. Like I said, the mafias control the tag team division. As well, we control the tag team division. As well, we control the tag team division. And uh, I won the hardcore title back, and I ended up losing it, but this is my chance to get my belt back. I'm a three-time LCW hardcore champion. No, I stand corrected, a four-time LCW hardcore champion as well. So I know my way around the hardcore championship scene, or the hardcore ways, brawling, if you will. Who never thought I'd be a, I'd be a part of the longest reigning tag team champions here in GMW? Yeah, who never thought of that? Yeah. Anyway, here comes the champion. I don't know why my hardcore title glitches like that. I might, have to I might have to fix that. Down the road. Hardcore Championship is on the line in this match, guys. I am getting my chance to get my belt back. Here we go. Hardcore title. There it is. Yeah, that very nice mask indeed. Yes, I am the superstar. I'm also the boss of GMW. Hardcore champion, Hannibal Black. There it is, guys, the hardcore title. The hardcore championship is on the line, guys. That beautiful belt. You see, it is me and Hannibal Black. False count anywhere. Let's go. High angle suplex there. Uh, high angle slam, even. One. Only a one count though. And a beautiful jab. That's a rocker dropper. Or a version of the rocker dropper. That's a drop kick by me. Yes. I am hunting for that LCW World Championship. And I'm not going to get my title shot until somebody beats. Until some dumbass ends up beating OJJ. So, whoever that guy is, I'll have to face me at some point. So, we'll have to wait and see on that one. K 
Kill me, thanks for the other host. Yeah, like you and Nick. Shadow Bouncer, thanks to the other host. Oh, the headbutt. Uh, snake eyes, even. That's a uh, cover. I mean, one count. Oh, a super kick there for me. That's the last chance, the last shot. I really need to know what he calls that move. I really do. I always forget to call that move. What he calls that move. Oh, that kendo stick. Welcome to hardcore. Welcome to my brand of hardcore. Oh, right in the back. And there you go. Just get him and just beat the piss out of him with it. And then he retaliates to me. Sick. Beautiful. One, only a one count. Get a two count out of that. And again, just attempt to beat the piss out of him with it. Oh, a beautiful. And again. No. Projection. I'm not. This is a simulation series. Or simulation promotion. All, all I do is book the matches. And everything else in between. The computer does the rest. One, only one count though. Whoa, and a rocker dropper. Or famous, uh, whatever you want to call it. Duck out the way. Get it. Yes, it's AI. Yes, I do AI. Simulation AI. Oh, wow. Wow. And he just chop blocks me from behind. Voodoo stuff. And just chops block, chop blocks me from behind. Version of the sister Abigail, and that's probably got the victory. Or not? Yes, the AI. This is an AI established um, simulation series. As you can see, my pad is here. I'll just put it over there. And I'm the new hardcore champion. <laughs> Two time GMW hardcore champion, four time LCW hardcore champion. Yo, what up, Nameless? Give a man a shout out. That might notify me that you're there with that. I don't know. Very weird, that. Very weird. You know, you pop up there with a the notification and it comes up in my little thing there. I can see it. I've got my freaking stream on for fuck's sake. Anyway, there's that DDT that I've won many matches with, to be fair. I've won many matches with that DDT. And I have once again, ladies and gentlemen, two-time GMW Hardcore Champion since getting this belt back. There it is. 
hardcore champion. So I'm now I'm double champion. So now I I own possession of the hardcore title, and I have possession of the GMW tag team championships too, the unified tag belts. So I'm a champion. I'm a double champion at the moment. Won my hardcore title back that I ended up losing to Azriel. But now I've got my belt back. We move on. And I, and now I can celebrate now because I'm about to call out Azriel. So I think I'm about to do that now. Is that now or is that later on? Yes, it's now. Alrighty then. That's your first half main event, ladies and gentlemen, as well. Three-way dance. Two men, are, two women are going to be facing each other at the pay per view a week on Thursday, against uh, in the three compete in the three way dance, and they're going to go up against the women's champion, which is Amanda Drake. Can one of them establish themselves as a as a contender for the for Amanda Drake's title? We'll find out. And then after that will be Moxley. Then it'll be Tuba Man Punishment Martinez. Then it'll be Undertaker. Yes, the Undertaker, not the member of the Yes is an Ace. It's the Undertaker taking on Blake Bishop. Loco wants to have a little chat with an old foe, which is Punishment Martinez. And that is your main event of this evening, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode. The Goliath 101 with OJJ. And the Goliath versus OJJ wasn't my idea, it was the Undertaker's idea, just to clarify that up. So, let's do this match. Well, this now. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Hope, you, hope you're well as well, Mr. Nameless. As well, please go and check him out, guys. There's that many people. Yes. The other guy looks like Dean Ambrose. Who are you talking about? John Moxley. I was going to say because that is Dean Ambrose. That's his uh, other uh, character name. That's his other character name. Yes, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that don't watch AEW, if you watch AEW, you will see a guy in there called John Moxley. That's Dean Ambrose to WWE fans as well. That's where Dean Ambrose is now gone. AEW, in case you don't know, which I'm sure you all do. Alrighty then. Let's see where this goes. Right. This is what I'm thinking. I have an idea for this group that's been formed here in GMW called the Anarchists, um, which is Asriel, Mass Terror, and Colby Jordan. And I'm about to call out Asriel because me and Asriel have had me and Asriel have had beef since L LCW season one. This prick. Um, we've had beef since LCW season one, so. What I'm thinking of doing is putting these three in, a, in an established six-man tag team match at the pay-per-view against three of my friends. Yeah. Berserker, thanks for the host. Full. 
I hate him so much, dude. It's so stupid. They want a real meal, a real meal. My God. Uh, if you guys are bored, if you guys are bored, listen to him talk shit. I don't blame you. Will CM, uh, will, is CM Punk ever going to return? Depends, really. Depends. Depends on WWE, mostly. Because it was WWE... WWE was the reason he, that he left in the first place. WWE was the reason he left in the first place. CM Punk, so. Is this guy a bad guy? Azrael, yes. This is a teen rated stream, so I can't say what I'd like to say, but. But he is a bad guy, very bad guy. I'm not kidding you, you ain't all that, fam. I'm not kidding you, mate. This this guy's been nothing but a pain in my ass since LCW season one. And if you want to know what LCW means, it stands for Local Crazy Wrestling. And the guy you see in here, Local Joe, that's his promotion. That's his promotion. LCW. And you can see that on Twitch. Although he does stream on Mixer too. Mixer.com forward slash Local X Joe. Um, I'll give him a shout out. X Joe. He mainly streams on Twitch, but he has streamed um, WWE to Mixer. His, his promotion to uh, to Mixer as well. He's using using the restream. Excuse the hiccups. But uh, yeah, these two episodes now today and Thursday, guys, are going to be building for next week's pay per view. So. So it's going to be a lot of pay-per-view build-up going into next week's show. It's all about next week, guys. All about the pay-per-view next week. I guess that sets it in. But I'll say this to you right now. As we out, we will settle our we will settle our differences on a later date. But you better get ready for the pay per view because it's going to be your boys are going to be in a six man tag. You and your boys, the anarchists, the anarchists will be in a six man tag, and you're going to wrestle some buddies of mine. It's going to be a huge pay per view match. Let me tell you. Okay, it's going to be surprise, a surprise trio that's coming to GMW to fight you guys and beat you guys up on my behalf. It would have been the Mafia, but me and the Mafia, the Mafia is busy. You know, OJJ is busy getting his unified television title back. 
And uh, I've got the hardcore title in Goldberg. Well, Goldberg's Goldberg. So, what can you say? So, for now, it's going to have to U3. It's going to be U3 dealing with my boys. And you'll find out who they are in due time. I might even reveal them on Thursday. We'll see what happens. But like I say, get yourselves ready because you'll be in a six-man tag at the pay-per-view. Right. Here we go. Three-way dance. Again, guys, that's what's still to come. Right there. Uh, a three-way dance. Against, with, involving two people who are going to face each other at the pay-per-view next week, which is... Um, Coley Masters and Coley Masters, the new leader of the Undisputed Era, and the former leader of the Undisputed Era, the female Undisputed Era, Alicia Cole. So, but these two are going to face each other now in a three-way dance, and the woman on the right there, the well, the odd one out in this piece, I suppose, even though she's the women's champion, is Amanda Drake, and yes, she is the unified women's champion as well. So. What happens next week, I don't know. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. At the moment right now, the match next week is Colleen Masters and um, Alicia Cole. One-on-one. -on -one. That could change. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. But Amanda Drake... Is the women's champion. You're about to see her in action. Momentarily. Sweet Angel. Thanks for the host. For the auto host. Oh go on. Is not a host, but I'll do it nonetheless. Hollywood Hogan, yes. Um, here we go. Three way dance, and this guy's is your first half of this episode main event. <coughs> the first half of this episode's main event of the evening. Here we go. Coley Masters, the new leader of the Undisputed Era. Yes, if you can believe that, that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. But Colleen Masters is the new leader of the Undisputed Era. The three-way dance. And I made, well, it was my idea for her to be, because I'm the booker of uh, GMW. It was my idea for her to be uh, the leader of the Undisputed Era, because they kicked out. Storyline wise, because they kicked out um, Alicia Cole because she shook hands with what they call it with uh, Amanda Drake, and they didn't take too kindly to that. So, Um, Andrew is a beast, and I'm sure you are, mate. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the Mafia. And thank you for the host as well. A double whammy, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. At least the trolls are leaving me tonight, I tell you. Hope you're well, sir. Thank you again for that follow. Andrew is beast, and Andrew is a beast. I'm sure you are a beast, to be fair. Hope you're well, sir. I put that your, your loss by Felicia up there because that tells me I've got an unfollower. But Mixer sure likes to fuck... 
the mix it up I'm sure likes to fuck around with it I tell you but hey life of a streamer I guess nothing's perfect when it comes to uh, streaming ladies and gentlemen nothing is perfect I don't know why it popped up there but anyway I'll have to, I'll have to double check that later on when I'm offline but anyway I hope you're well Andrew thank you again for that follow and the host as well like I say double whammy ladies and gentlemen double whammy Alicia Cole in the ring glad to hear it like I say, welcome to the Games Matter channel. This is the Games Matter channel. If you want any information on me, my man, description down below. My schedule is down there, and anything else you want to know about me and social medias are down there. By the way, guys, for you as well, social medias are down there as well if you want to get in touch with me. You know, Instagram, twi Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everything. If you want to keep up to date with me as well. As well, and I think my Discord's down there as well. You're more than welcome to join my Discord, guys, as well. But for God's sake, um, you're more than welcome to join my Discord. Please read the introduction in there as well. It just lets you a little. It just gives you a brief idea of what the Discord's all about, um, as well. But yeah, that's where I mostly promote and everything, and you get to meet new people in there as well, and watch my mods as well. It's not an active Discord. It's not as active as I'd like it to be, but I've just done that. But bloody hell. Um, it's not as active as I'd like it to be, but uh, it is what it is. And like I say, mind your P's and Q's with my mods. Because as my mod showed me the other week, they are lethal. So. <laughs> I am on Xbox One X. I'm on my Xbox One X. And how do you describe? How do I describe what? This is Xbox One, by the way. Uh, I've got an Xbox One, just to let you know. Speak yes, Amanda Drake, ladies and gentlemen. The unified women's world champion of my promotion. The top dog in the well, top dog in a female position. I probably should have said that, really, should I? Top dog. <laughs> Elite, thanks for that uh, ten thousand. Anyway, three way dance. And what do you know? The two girls are going to be facing each other next week. Go after each other. They're like, fuck the world champion. I'll go after them. Which is understandable, by the way. Coley Masters. Like I say, Colleen didn't have to break that up. If this was a normal triple threat, guys, Colleen would have had to break that up. Otherwise, Alicia Cole would have won if she got the three count. This is a three-way dance. It is elimination rules. If Amanda Drake pins Alicia Cole, Alicia Cole hits the shower, and there'll be Amanda Drake and Colleen Masters. This is not a first pin for submission gets the victory. Beautiful power slam. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the 10K. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the man right there. That is the reason why I watch professional wrestling. Hulk Hogan. That is the guy, that, that is the reason I watch pro wrestling. When I was a kid growing up, 10 on the TV one time, saw him wrestle for the first time and became a wrestling fan for life. It was like saying my lifetime contract. And yes, wrestling has its moments and everything. It ain't as good as what it used to be. But I'm a wrestling fan for life, so. Holy Masters. Beagle Neckbreaker. Again, nope. Great counter from the world champion. This is a good, this is a good attempt as well for one of these two. I'm talking about Colleen and Alicia Cole. One of these two to establish themselves as maybe a contender for the for Amanda Drake's title if they win. No, it's a non-title match. But it could very well be a title match down the road. There could very well be a title match down the road, say if Alicia Cole or Colleen wins. This is a good thing for them, because if they beat if they win this match, they could establish themselves as a contender for the title for the title shot. 
So basically, this is a test for them too as well. To get themselves a championship match. Uh, as it stands now, next week, a week on Thursday, which is the pay-per-view. Um, a week on Thursday, which is the pay-per-view for the Unfinished Business pay-per-view. It is Coley Masters and Alicia Cole one-on-one. -on -one, and again, referee slow as usual. Took them about three seconds to count there. Fucking idiot. But yes, you will find out that I'll probably complain a lot when it comes to this game. When it comes to this game and the referees on this game as well. Because like I've said earlier on, they need to... Uh, 2K needs to work on like a positioning um, format as well for the... Uh, for the what I call it, man. Like a positioning uh, format for the... Uh, for the referees, man. Because their positioning sometimes on this game is... Diabolical. I don't mind telling you. Especially when it comes to like a fourth count anywhere match. Ladies and gentlemen, which is my alert thing. Thank you for the thousand and Die Hard. Thank you for that follow. Welcome yourself to the Mafia. And I love that name because Die Hard is a tremendous movie, let me tell you. I do fancy watching Die Hard again. Like, like I said, Die Hard is an awesome movie. Awesome movie. Uranaki Chokeslam, I believe that was. Cover. And Colleen, no, Alicia Cole's been eliminated. Now it's down to one-on-one, -on -one, guys. And look at Amanda Drake just grabs Colleen by the throat. And, oh, my God, punch right in the gut. What a shot that was. Beautiful move from Colleen. Um, the pinfall is has to take place in the ring. This is not an extreme rules match. No disqualification, but it's not extreme rules. Uh, also, guys, you know what? While I'm here, while I'm doing this match, I'll put some quick promotions in my uh, my what I call it uh, in my thing. Uh, da -da, what we got? Sound clips. There's the sound clips if you want to test them as well. Exclamation and whatever the sound clip is. That's a pile driver. That surely is it. Amanda Drake. One, two. Holy moly, is she dominant. She just won a three-way dance involving the two girls who are going to be facing each other next week. That's why she's the women's champion, guys. Simple as that right there. You've just seen a, a first-class example of why she is a dominant women's champion or has been dominant since she's won the title as well. You can't get any better than that, guys, what you just saw there. So, yeah, guys, exclamation and whatever it is you want to do, knock yourself out. They're there for a reason. Like, it's all about fun. Like I said, I try to keep fun, try to keep the entertainment going on this channel. Also, as well, uh, yeah, very impressive. I'm very impressed with her. By the way, guys, that little family of gamers logo you see in the top left-hand corner there, guys, for everybody on Mixer, you're probably wondering to yourself, what are the family of gamers? There's the answer right there, my Discord. That's my, that's my stream crew that I see there. That's my stream crew. Uh, so if you want to talk, I can see you're more than welcome to join them. Let them know I sent you. Get to know them a little bit. They're my crew. They're a, a great group of people. And I can say otherwise I won't be associated with them. But that is the stream crew that I'm, I'm in as well. The family of gamers. The fog, if you will. I know when I say fog, I don't mean fog on the time. I'm just saying. But yeah. Right, let's see Moxley. We're going into the second half of the show now, guys. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, right, John Moxley. This guy is scheduled next week at the pay-per-view, even though he's the current AEW World Heavyweight Champion, by the way. 
why indeed. Um, even though he's the current AEW World Heavyweight Champion, he's scheduled to face Evil Joe next week at the pay-per-view. So he's going he's to call him out. All these done, guys, I've talked. These two have talked. That's all they've done. Evil Joe's called him out. John's called him out. John's going to call him out again. That's all they've done. So hopefully we'll get a brawl out of them, but I doubt it. So, yes, Dean Ambrose, like I said earlier on, um, you ain't all that. That's Dean Ambrose, yes. That's his uh, other name that he had before he went to WWE and became Dean Ambrose. He was called John Moxley. Um, when he went to WWE, he had to, do, he had to put John Moxley away. And that's why he ended up calling himself Dean Ambrose. And, uh, yeah. Now he's in now he's in AEW. He's called John Moxley again, and I'll tell you this right now: he's a lot better than he was in WWE. I'll tell you right now. Now let me tell you. What up, Turbo? No ball as well, mate. Like I said, I'm just getting through this. I've had a good night tonight, actually. And like I said, guys, you guys make this possible. All you guys have came in tonight, and I appreciate all you. It's all about the views. It's all about the push, guys, for the partnership. Like I said, I've got three three months to do it, so I kind of I'm kind of happy how things have gone so far this week. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow with Red Dead as well. And there's going to be a lot of betrayal tomorrow in the Red Dead section, in the Red Dead session tomorrow, uh, which reminds me I need to put Red Dead on the uh, Xbox tonight, which I'll do right after this paper after the show even as well. I need to get my Red Dead up and running. It's very hard uh, to keep <laughs> games on the Xbox. But uh, it is what it is. Also, guys, you'll be seeing Black Ops 4. No, no. Hey. Important matters in your life, Turbo, matter. You take care of that business. Like I say, there's always the VOD. If you don't, if you're not here in the stream, guys, there's always the VOD. 14 days you've got to watch this on the VOD. Or even check out my YouTube channel because this will be going up on the YouTube channel too. All my replays for GMW are on the YouTube channel. So, like I say, you're not missing anything. Like I say, you've always got the VOD, go back, you've got 14 days to do. Whatever you've got to do in your life, guys, do it. Do it. Like I say, I'm not forcing you to be here. We all have shit that we have to deal with IRL. You know? So, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's all going to be in there right after this stream. 14 days, guys. That should be a little bit longer, if I'm being honest with you. Also, guys, if you look on my stream... Um, I need to figure this out as well a little bit as well. If you look on my stream, if you watch my stream section now, as you're seeing it right now, as you're watching this right now, the stream, you know, go put your arrow onto the stream or whatever it is you're watching this on and go to the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a create clip button. You are more than welcome to use that. Anyone, it, It's up for anybody's use, for now at least, but it's up for anybody's use. If you see something in this show, in this show, or in any of my streams going forward, whether it's Red Dead tomorrow, this again on Thursday, or whatever I do on Friday, whatever, going forward, if you come in and you see something that you like and you thought was funny or entertaining or worth it, you know, feel free to clip it. Feel free to clip it. That clip is like Twitch. It's what they have on Twitch. You just go there. You click a but you click the button, you establish to where you want to be, you try and get the clip and establish where you want to go, you mess about with it until you get the right place for the clip, and then away you go. And you can give it a title, whatever you want, and then that'll probably be up in my clip. And I think it's there for 14 days also. But I'll download it if it's up there. If there's any clips up there, I will download the clips should they be created. So if I bash my mic there as well. As well, so yes, that is what's to come on this channel. Like I say, guys, as well, um, for my mixer channel, I'm staying away from the per the popular games, which is Call of Duty, Fortnite. If you can call Fortnite a popular game, considering the direction that game has gone, but it's popular in terms of playing it because people are still playing it, mostly kids. Apex and, and stuff like that, as well. I will only play them games if you if there's a collab, if I'm collabing with somebody or if I'm playing with somebody, like any members of the Fog crew or whatever, you know, whatever they want to do, I'm down for it any, either way. Uh, I will be playing Black Ops 4 again on this channel. I'll be playing multiplayer because I actually really enjoyed that and I really do miss playing it. And um, 
I'm also going to be finishing off at some point. Um, I might save that till Monday. The uh, the rest of that uh, World War Two campaign that I did on Monday as well. I thought I could finish it on Monday. Apparently, I can't as well because it's longer than I thought. So, but it's fun. I had a blast on Monday playing the, with the tanks and the aeroplanes and everything. The shit's crazy. And I think I've got two more story missions to do, and then I'll be here because there's about eleven on there altogether, from what I've been told and from what I've seen. Also, guys, I'm thinking of going on ARC. Um, I know I'm on the Arlid server as well. I'm on the Arlid server, the Arlid ARC server. I've had a way with the owner of the Arlid, or the, the man in charge of it, and he says the Crystal Island is coming to the server, and also Valgero is coming to the server too. And now, I'll be down to play Valgero because I, I never got the chance to finish off anything on Valgero because we ended up moving to Ragnarok because um, Valgero closed, unfortunately. So if we can get back on Valgero, I'm all about that life, let me tell you. But I've even had a way with the guy in charge of the server, and he said um, it's okay for me to go on my own to test out this new Crystal Island. And I'm actually thinking of doing that. So I might have to start all the way from scratch. So you might see a Let's Play on here at some point. I'll organise it, and I'll let you know over the week. But there might be an Ark Lex play or the Crystal Island because I've had a look at that new Crystal map. The new DLC that came out, that new Crystal Island map. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I'll play that any day of the week. I'd play that over Genesis any day of the week because Genesis is annoying. It's annoying as hell. I'm not a fan of Genesis at all. I'll play it, but I'm not a fan of it. You know. Oh! Finally, we get some action between these two. He just whacked him with the mic. Finally, we get a brawl out of these two. <laughs> like, seriously. And these two will meet next week, by the way. A week on Thursday, guys, is the Unfinished Business pay-per-view. So, these two will meet next week. Um, look out for more information on that in there. Uh, Slong, are you in my sir? Are you in my Discord? John, if you if you hear this, are you in my Discord? I think you are, aren't you? I just don't remember. That's why I ask. I just don't remember. But there's my Discord. If anybody else wants to join, you're more than welcome to do so. Please read the introduction. And while these two are brawling, guys, let me go and put some light on here. I can feel it getting dark. This is a little preview of next week, by the way, guys. And Evil Joe has the last laugh. Question is, will he have it next week? Yeah, I thought you were. I'm just checking. Not a problem. Right. World Champion is up next, and that is Tuberman. He's next. Let's do it. So, it's a bit of a grudge match next, guys. You will indeed, mate. See you tomorrow, Turbo. Take it easy. Um, this match came about. Now, these, this is basically the Feel the Heat rematch, is what this is, except it's non-title. These two met to Feel the Heat. Tuberman won the King of the Ring. Pushman Martinez was the world champion. Tuberman beat him for the world champion. That's why Tuberman is now the world champion. Ever since Martinez has lost that belt, he's done nothing but win. His matches. The matches he's been put in, he's done nothing but win. Win, 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 win. That's all he's done. So, whether you like the son of a you-know-what and, and anything, give him credit. He's won. Um... But last week, Tuberman was scheduled for a one-on-one -on -one contest on Thursday. He was scheduled for a one-on-one -on -one confrontation on Thursday. This git attacked him, jumped him from behind. So he's got a match out of him tonight. So it's a one-on-one. -on -one, this is basically a one-on-one -on -one rematch. Call it what you want, rematch, grudge match. And hopefully, I think Martinez is going to use the world champion as a statement to me that he's been winning, 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 and then he shouldn't be in the match with Loco at June 25th to determine the number one contender for the world champion. Uh, at the moment, nobody, unless something changes. 
I have been playing a lot of Black Ops 4 multiplayer, man. Uh, like I say, I, I, I really enjoyed them. I, I don't know why, but I really enjoyed it. I also want to play Blackout too. I never got the chance that much to play Blackout too. So maybe I can get some Blackout in as well. But yeah, I'm staying away from Warzone unless I'm collaborating with somebody. Um, I'm playing it with somebody. Then you might see it. Um, I want to play Ark because, like I said, that Crystal Island is is phenomenal. Just looks phenomenal. And I take that over friggin' uh, what I call it any day of the week. So we'll see what happens. So yes, we've got this grudge match, and I think he wants to use him as a statement. And I'm talking Martinez wants to use um, Tuba Man as a statement to uh, get that, you know, to get that push, if you will, to say, "Here, I've won the matches. I deserve a rematch." So if I'm not going to give him it. Punishment Martinez is thinking, if I'm not going to give him the shot, you know, if I'm not going to give him the shot myself, you'll make a statement at this expense. So, and like I said, Tuba Man was meant to have a match last week, but this git attacked him. So, it is what it is. Fire. I'm very grateful for that, that comment. I'm very grateful, my man. And I like the Ultimate Warrior uh, profile pic as well. As well, and I already followed you. I'm very grateful for that. I'm, you, you don't know how grateful I am for that comment there. Hey, OJJ, what's up, man? Hope life's treating you well. I don't know why you haven't been here because of, of what's happened. You don't have to explain. You've already explained it in Discord. Like I say, take your time, whatever you need. It's good to see you anyway. Like I say, fire. I do appreciate that. So this is a so this is a um, like I say, it's a grudge match. I mean, OJJ, OJJ knows how much of a pain in the ass this guy is, and I'm talking about Mart, Mart, Martin Martinez as well. OJJ knows every knows better than anybody how much of a pain in the ass he is. So yeah. So, that's your target, guys. He is a target man. Tuba man is a target. He's, he's got a bullseye on his chest. Actually, he hasn't got a bullseye on his chest. He's got a bullseye around his waist, if you will, called the World Championship. Uh, hanging in there. Yeah, that's all you can do, uh, OJJ. That's all you can do, just hang in there. I know how you feel, man. I lost. I mean, try losing two of my family members in the space of two years. You know? You know, try losing family members in the space of two years like I did. I lost my father July 4th, and I lost my cousin 2018 at Christmas. So, like I said, that's all you can do, though. It's hanging there. Yeah, very much appreciate that, Fire. Very much appreciate it. Uh, F. Martinez, yes, F. Martinez, indeed. But like the guy, yeah, that's all you can do. It's a slow process to get back, but once you get back to normal, you get back to normal. Like I said, I thought when I lost my father, I thought I was getting back to normal. And I kind of was, and then, lo and behold, I lose my cousin. So, kind of kicked me in the balls, if you will. But, uh, I'm a fighter. You know, all my life I fought the hard way. Nothing's been easy in my life, trust me. Yeah, he's, uh, he lost his brother, um, John, just to let you in. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but he lost his brother uh, the other week as well. So, yeah. So he's had a... He's had a... Yeah, he's had a kick in the balls, if you will, so to speak. But, yeah. What the fuck was that? Yes, guys, and for those of you that have just came back and like OJJ, maybe he's told, maybe he's, I've told him this on, through the Discord and everything. It's all about the views on this channel now, guys. All I need, yeah, he's in my Discord, uh, OJJ. So if you ever want to talk, like I say, same with me as well. DMs are open. Well, you already know that. You know my DMs are always open. Um, so like I said. 
it's all about the views on this channel, guys. I'm staying away from the big, the, the big guns, if you will. The, uh, the war zones and the Fortnites. How you could still call Fortnite a popular game is beyond me. But anyway, Apex and games like that. I'm staying away from unless I'm collaborating with somebody. So that's the only time you'll get to see it. Yes, like I said, like I've said many times, and I've even said this to people offline. How can you still call Fortnite a popular game? Is a mystery to me. Considering the direction that game has gone, man. I mean, I took a break from that game a while ago because I was on the verge of getting to the point where I'm smashing my TV screen in, which I didn't, by the way. But that's what the game was doing to me. But uh, it seems me taking a break from it was the biggest blessing I've ever had. Oh, and a Tornado DDT. From the world's heavyweight champion. The biggest underdog in GMW history. Beautiful clothesline. line. You can probably imagine the tuba man is pissed. He's pissed off with their... Uh, with their, uh, what I call him, Martinez. And all Martinez wants is his world title back. That's all he cares about. But like I said, ever since he's lost that match, ever since he lost the world championship at Feel the Heat, they have done nothing but... He's done nothing but win. Whether you like the son of a bitch or not, and I don't personally, because he's a pain in the ass... You know, you can't deny that he's won matches. Still to come as well, guys. Undertaker's in action, believe it or not. He's going to go up against uh, Blake Bishop. One-on-one -on -one tonight. That is your core main event. And the main event of the evening was hand-picked and fed to me by the Undertaker himself. Yes, it is OJJ. He will be in the main event tonight. He's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the Goliath. So, believe it or not, that was Undertaker's idea. But don't worry. But don't worry. You'll get the Undertaker will get something on Thursday as well. He's actually getting something tonight. But you'll get he'll get a test on Thursday. I might even make the Undertaker's match for Thursday at the end of the show. So he's got to wrestle somebody on Thursday, like you're doing tonight. You know, you're doing with the Goliath thing. You've got to, he's got to wrestle somebody like that on Thursday. So basically, it's pick your poisons, one said. All leading to next week's show. Like I said, the pay-per-view is a week on Thursday. Next Tuesday at this time, guys. Oh, God. I kind of saw this coming, to be honest with you. The Frozen has begun, ladies and gentlemen. I, I kind of saw this happening tonight, the way things were. Yeah, I kind of saw this happening tonight. I, I, I saw this coming, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I saw this coming. It's okay. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. I kind of saw that happening, to be fair. But uh, it is what it is. Like I say, we regroup, we work around it. And I've had the title match tonight. It was a title match tonight, so the title match is all good and all good and dead. Uh, all good and gold and everything. I am going to download that at the end of the thing. I've got full up at the moment. Um, I have to redo my roster as well. Um, on, when I went into LCW um, the other day, there was a lad who goes in there and watches LCW. He has characters in LCW, and he said to Joe that he wanted to be in GMW. So I'm going to have to make room for him too. But I have to let Joe know because I can't download his uh, character at the moment because of the downloadable content that I haven't got. So I'm going to have to go through. I'm going to have to try and go through Bump of the Night over the weekend to uh, or through the week just to uh, see if I can be able to get the um, the character that I need. Or the stuff that I need as well. Or, or ask Joe to get him to redo the uh, the gimmick. The, take the uh, stuff off there that doesn't need to be on there. Because I can't download it because I haven't completed Bump of the Night on this account at least. So, so it's okay guys. Nothing to worry about. See, this is the beauty about streaming this on the channel. On this through OBS. If this was streamed through the, through the, um, through the console... I'll be, be, be off air right now. 
That's why I broke away from the console. All the console stuff now. That's why I broke away from all the console stuff, guys. That's why I broke away from it. Right, so just making sure everything is in suit. Yep, everything's still the same. Like I say, I already had the title match. The title match was earlier on, the hardcore title match. I'll get to that later on. So let's do this without the uh, the entrances. We've already seen the entrances. We don't need to see them again. And let's just do it. Let's go straight back into the match. We don't need to see them again. We don't need to see the entrances again. Uh, for those of you that have just joined as well, Trey Mercer was a, earlier on in the show. Um, and he's going to be wrestling next week as well. And the debut of the Big Amish is June 25th. This new wrestler that I've got, that I've signed to GMW, the Big Amish, as well, just to let you know, as well. That's him there, the Big Amish. He's going to be here next week. He's going to be here. You might see him earlier than planned, but uh, that's why right. next week, June twenty fifth, it will be him and Trey Mercer one on one. It probably would have been him and freaking Punishment Martinez if, Ber if Mercer beat Martinez last Thursday, but he didn't. So, so yeah, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So here we go, take two. So. Like I said, it's without the entrances now. These two are going to wrestle. These two are going to fight. So here we go. Yes, the big pay-per-view was a week on Thursday, guys. Unfinished business, June 25th. You do not want to miss that pay-per-view. And I say that about every pay-per-view. But like I say, it's headlined, Hell in the Cell. Undertaker versus OJJ. You've got Undertaker versus OJJ. You've got Tuberman defending the World Championship against the Horse, who OJJ beat last week, by the way. Um, got his revenge last week. You've got him next. That's, that's them two matches that headline the show, pretty much. You've got John Moxley one on one with Evil Joel. You've got uh, who else? You've got a tag team, a six-man tag team match that's announced. That was just announced tonight as well. The Anarchists, um, Mass Terror. By the way, good win on MCW against Mass Terror, OJJ. Um, you got Mass Terror, OJJ, uh, the Mass Terror, Colby Jordan, and that big prick who I can't stand out of all three of them at least, as we are. Them three, the anarchists, that's what they're called, the anarchists. Thank you for the re-hosts, by the way. Um, them three are going to be in a six-man tag team match at the pay-per-view. Who their opponents are? It's a mystery. But I can tell you this, you're going to like who they are, let me tell you. It's not the Mafia. I wish it was the Mafia, but we're busy. Like I say, OJJ's got his TV title bet match and everything, and Goldberg's just going to be Goldberg, although he might wrestle at the pay-per-view. Like I say, if I can fit something in. But, uh, yeah. There's going to be one hell of a six-man tag at Unfinished Business, let me tell you. Look at the power. Um, there's that one, like I say, uh, Trey Mercer one-on-one -on -one with uh, Big Amish. Alicia Cole one on one with uh, Coley Masters after Amanda Drake dominated both of them tonight in the three way dance as well. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know any other matches though. Oh, Tuba Chin Music. I have no idea what he calls this, but this is his version of Sweet Chin Music. And boy, oh boy, did you hear that. Too bad Martinez's head didn't go flying off his shoulders. But anyway, only gets a two can out of it. Like I say, guys, Red Dead Redemption is tomorrow. And there's going to be a lot of betrayals. That is a pop-up tuba punch or tuba man punch. That is a cover. One, two. Um, it's going to be a lot of betrayal coming tomorrow. 
in the uh, in the Red Dead Redemption series playthrough, and I do have an itch to play Spider Man. I want to play Spider Man again. I do. I want to play Spider Man. I have a craving to play Spider Man. So you might get a Spider Man, um, what I call it, on this channel. Does this second Red Dead, uh, Red Dead follow events of the first? If I'm being honest with you, OJJ, the the events of it was before the first one. This sh this story should have been Red Dead Redemption One, and then the Red Dead Redemption One story should have been Red Dead Redemption Two. Because um, what happened in Red Dead Redemption One? You do the story with Arthur Morgan here in this one. And then you start again with John after Morgan dies. Spoiler alert, which you already know. Um, Morgan dies and then, you, and then you take over as John, John Marston. And then it goes right into Red Dead 1. Pretty much. Well, the, at least the beginning of Red Dead 1. And then the story ends and then you pretty much go back and play Red Dead 1. I know it's crazy. Yeah, I'm 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 expecting that one, uh, John. I'm expecting the Red Dead Three, if there is a Red Dead Three, to be Jack. I'm expecting that. I mean, they've had John, Arthur Morgan, and John again, so it's time for Jack now, surely. You know, it's time for Jack. It's time for Jack to get his uh, to to get his slice of the pie, if you will. That's a stunner. And that's hilarious. One, two. How Martinez got out of that, I'll never know. But anyway. Oh, he's going for that... Uh, that figured version of the crossword he likes to do. But thank God for the road break. There's that straight jacket DDT he likes to do as well. He's won many matches with that. Has he beaten the world champion? One, two, and only a two count though. Look at this. There's that straight jacket DDT again. He loves that move. That and the side slam too. That sidewalk slam. Or the side effect slam. He's busted open tuba man but. Yeah. Either that or they were best mates. That has done it. Get down there and count ref. One. Two. How was he kicked out with that? Tuba man's kicked out with two of them straight jacket DDTs. And Martinez got hit with a stunner there. Look at that. He's going for another one. Oh, great counter. I'll give him that. Beautiful drop to a hold move there. Yeah. There's that sidewalk slam move that he likes to do. Wouldn't be surprising if he's won because he's won many matches with that too. And Well, these two are having an epic contest. I'll give him that. Definitely an epic contest. There's that straight jacket DDT again. Surely he's won. Surely he's beating him with that. This over. Two. And yes, what a surprise. Martinez wins. Okay, big shot. You, po you proved your point. You proved your point. You proved your point. Okay. See what we're going to do then. On Thursday. Right up. Oh, JJ. Um, this is what we're going to do on Thursday. Double main event on Thursday. Punishment Martinez goes one on one with Horse. Your main event for this Thursday's episode of MCW, brought to you by GMW. 
Tuba Man, the World Heavyweight Champion, will be in action. He will go one-on-one -on -one with Loco Joe. And speaking of horse, here he is now. And horse is a little hangry, and we might get a little preview of Thursday. We're going to get a little preview of Thursday. A little preview of Thursday. I've just made the match right here. We're going to get a preview of Thursday. I've just literally made the match because horse is not happy with Martinez. He thinks that Martinez has came in and stepped on his uh, spotlight. Okay. I do think I made the match for Thursday then because this is what you're going to see on Thursday. Horse and punish Martinez one-on-one. -on -one. Break his back, horse. Break his back. Mind you, OJJ doesn't like both of these guys, by the way, so... You know, last Tuesday, Horse strangled OJJ to submission, by the way. And then on Thursday, he got his revenge. Because I made it an Extreme Rules pinfall only match. No submissions. Which is the first in GMW, by the way. But I have to admit, I like what, uh, OJ, I like what Horse did there. I gotta admit, I kind of like what Horse did there. I gotta respect o uh, Horse for that. Coming out and beating the piss out of him. Because obviously Horse thinks that he's taking the spotlight. That was hilarious, that. Right. OJJ's opponent. Undertaker. The unified television champion, by the way. The unified TV champion. Yes, it's The Undertaker. It's not the brawler from Aces and Eights. It is The Undertaker. He's about to go one-on-one -on -one with Blake Bishop. One half of the Bishop boys. There's this, there's Loco Joe's promo, because Loco Joe's probably going to call out Martinez. Granted that Martinez can come and see him after he just got his ass kicked. Um, so, there's that, there's this match, and then, and then it's the main event, which is Goliath versus OJJ. Orange Juice Jones. It looks like Rikishi's love child. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Co-main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Undertaker and Blake Bishop. Undertaker and Blake Bishop one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, there he is. The unified television champion. I just sent it and never thought I'd say in this series. The legend himself becomes the unified TV champ. The Undertaker, the unified television champ. Look to make a statement or look to use Blake Bishop as a statement for OJJ. There he is. I can't believe he beat OJJ at the uh, Feel the Heat pay-per-view. Will he be able to retain the title next week? There he is, Blake Bishop. And his opponent from Great Falls, Montana, weighing in at 220 pounds, Blake Bishop. 
One half of the Bishop boys. The Bishop brothers. Here we go. So Martinez proved himself against Tuba Man. Can Undertaker send a message to OJJ at the expense of Blake Bishop, this poor bastard, for a face lock by the Undertaker? That is a neck breaker right on the back. Unified television champion. Blake Bishop with the Undertaker. That's a backbreaker. Another backbreaker. Or side backbreaker. Right hand, a vicious right hand. You had that smack. Whatever that size is, foot right to the head. That's that hurts. Beautiful. How long have I been on here? Two, two eighteen. Oh my God! You had the smack of that, but that had no effect on the Undertaker. Hanging vertical suplex coming up. What a. Vicious, on a, like a slingshot spear. Goes for the cover. Can he get an upset? One. Right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. The the knee. Beautiful DDT from uh, Blake there. And he's got the champion rolling. That is a chin buster or chin breaker, uh, jaw breaker even. Uh, Sickest two one five. Thank you for that follow. Well, uh, thank you for that host rather. I said four. I'm, I'm losing the plot. Allow me. It's twenty to ten. My time. Oh, the right hand. Own it. An elbow. Undertaker now. Looking to make an example out of Mr. Blake. Well, that's a TCB taking take care of business. I don't think the Undertaker wants to beat this man. Maybe he does. Who knows? But he wants to beat the hell out of him. Make a statement at the expense of OJJ. Refs at a count of nine. And it's a ten. And he gets a count out of victory, you cheapskate. Good grief. Absolute cheapskate. Look at that. Whatever. Here is your winner. Undertaker. With a can out victory, believe it or not. Will he still be the unified television champion a week on Thursday? There will be a one last face off on Thursday between OJJ and. OJJ and The Undertaker. Also, 
Undertaker will be in action on Thursday against a hand-picked opponent, probably either by me or by OJJ. Horse will go one-on-one -on -one with Punishment Martinez on Thursday and Loco will face... Now uh, we're dead, my dear. Anyway, a local will face uh, Tuberman on Thursday as well. Non-title, of course. So, Loco in Punishment Martino is about to have a face-off now. And then it's the main event. My phone. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, Anyway, OJJ, here we go. Hey, Loco Joe, rather. Here he is. Got a win earlier on in the tag team match. Beating the Fall of Disciples. Kind of a good night for the uh, Lubbers. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just checking a few things. Yes, Mr. Martinez, get your big butt out here. Yeah, you want to talk about unfinished business pay-per-view? You want to talk about unfinished business? Oh, boy, if these two got some unfinished business, let me tell you.
It's when they thought these two were finished in LCW. We're going to see a brawl between these two, like we saw earlier on, finally, with Moxley and Evil Joe. Like I said, guys, these two will meet next week. The winner becomes number one contender. Martinez meets Horse on Thursday, one-on-one. -on -one, and Local Joe goes one-on-one -on -one with Tuba Man on Thursday. Then after the unfinished business next Thursday, we're on the highway to hell. Follow, welcome to the Mafia. Okay, big boy. That's how you want to play. I know that was you. I think Loco has the last word. I think Martinez better recognize. Yeah. Going to be real interesting June 25th when these two meet up one more time to determine who the number one contender is for the World Championship. Goliath, one-on-one -on -one with OJJ.
<sighs> this is your main event, by the way, guys. Yeet! Thank you for that uh, 5k. And funny you should mention that. Thank you for the 5k. Right. Main event. Yes, you are the Goliath. Yee, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mafia. I am enjoying. I appreciate that follow. Right. Just double check something, guys. Um, WWE 17 front. Of course I'm done. Of course I'm top of the league, baby. Of course I'm top of the league. Even with eight views, I'm still top of the chi. And his opponent representing the NWO Wolfpack from Virginia Beach, Virginia, weighing in at 228 pounds. One half of the One half of the unified tag team champions. Man looking to get his his uh, TV championship belt back at the pay per view. My pleasure. You're more than welcome to have a go at them yourself, uh, Yeet, as well. Exclamation and whatever it says there, so you're more than welcome to have a go yourself. This is your main event of the evening. Orange Juice Jones, Unified Tag Team Champion, going one-on-one -on -one with the Goliath, a guy who was hand-picked to face OJJ tonight by The Undertaker. Here we go. Goliath, former world champion. The guy who last was in, in the ring got beat by Goldberg. Goliath now. Kick to the head. Power slam. Kick. Whoa. The strength is with Goliath. The quickness is with OJJ. Oh, my God. Clumsy start to the match. Boot to the midsection. That's a heavy dude. Fisherman Buster by OJJ. Again, that's what OJJ is going to do. He's going to use his quickness. From face lock. Oh, and a whipper snapper. That's a version of the stunner. He was going for it again, but didn't get it.
Boot to the midsection. Another boot to the midsection. Roundhouse kick to the back. And a, like a chop. Great Carly chop, but again, the quickness of OJJ. And now he's just beating the hell out of the big man. This is a really good test for OJJ, considering the match he's got coming up uh, a week on Thursday in the Hell in the Cell. That's an abdominal stretch, ladies and gentlemen, and trust me, that hurts. And that's another whippersnapper. There's one way to trot the big man down. Goes for the cover. And he gets a one count. Cross faces. Boot to the midsection again. Kinshasa. Well, version of the Kinshasa. OJJ working the big man's leg. One, only a one count. Goliath looking to get back up. Watch out, OJJ. Elbow. Goliath turns OJJ around. He's going to put him up on the second term, on the top turn book, in fact. Sitting him up there. What the hell is he doing? German suplex off the ropes. That's a big man doing that, let me tell you. Oh, what a... F the biggest 450 you will ever see, but he missed it. He misjudged it. The biggest 450 you will ever see, ladies and gentlemen. Clothesline. Another clothesline. Duck of the clothesline. Super kick to the chin. Goliath back in this match. Going for a choke slam. Oh, he hits it. Boy, did he ever hit it. Claw hold and slams him again. <coughs> press slam. Military press. And just slams him down. And that is a moonsault by the big man. Sorry about the mic thing. One, two, and only a two count. Yes, big men. The big man can do that, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not. Boot to the midsection by OJJ. OJJ needs to fight back. And quick. He hit him there with a... Got a gut wrench slam. OJJ with a corner. Double leg takedown. Like an MMA style beat down there. OJJ needs to do that. He needs to put away the big man. Undertaker got a count out victory over Blake B Bishop earlier on tonight. Slingshot crossbody. Or corkscrew crossbody, I suppose. Roundhouse right to the gut. Somewhere the Undertaker's going to be loving this. Okay. Carly Chop. Boot to the gut. OJJ needs to fight back. Right hand to the gut. He's going for that move, but that's a DDT. He's going for that uh, double leg takedown. Didn't get it, though. Headbutt. Abdominal stretch. Again, trust me, that hurts. That's a hip toss corner. OJJ needs to put this man away. Goes for a quick cover. Will he get a three count? Did he even get a two count? Boot to the midsection. No. Goliath grabs him. And that's a choke slam. Spine buster. One arm spine buster. Either way it was effective. 
Blows him away. Beautiful takedown from OJJ. OJJ with the big man. That's a backbreaker into like a combination slam down. He beat Mass Terror with this on on Monday. And he hits it. Has he beaten Goliath with this tonight? One, two. OJJ beats Goliath. Gamer Scott, thank you for that follow. Uh, OJJ, Orange Juice Jones versus Goliath. This was the main event, and as you clearly just saw there, Orange Juice Jones won. Holy mackerel, did he beat him? He's beaten Mass Terror, and he's beaten. He just beat Goliath. Goliath was dominant in the match, but. Someone that size doing moonsault. Bloody hell. And that was your main event of this evening. And there he is, the winner. Will he do that at Unfinished Business next week? It will be this man, OJJ, going one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker for the Unified Television Championship in Hell in the Cell. Will he be able to do what he just did to Goliath against The Undertaker next week? We will only find out. Undertaker's going to be wrestling on Thursday again. Similar to this match, what will happen? Tune in on Thursday, guys. Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will get GMW. Like I say, Gamer Scott, thank you for dropping by with that follow. I appreciate you. Where's that pad? Right. I'm going to do a, a quick recap. A, a quick recap. As well. This is Goliath. Uh, earlier on tonight, Martinez proved a point by beating the world champion. Undertaker demolished, well, did demolish uh, Blake Bishop until he won by Carnap. One last face-off for Loco Joe and Martinez before their match. Who was playing? OJJ and The Undertaker. Um, that match there was Goliath and OJJ, as you clearly just saw. That was your main event. And as you clearly just saw, Orange Juice Jones won. Uh, Undertaker beat Blake Bishop earlier on tonight by count out, which I was disappointed, but hopefully that won't be the case on Thursday because I got something for you, Undertaker. Yes, Punishment Martinez proved his point against Tuba Man. He won the match. He probably will get his title shot, but he'll have to beat Loco first. Moxley and that evil Joe get into a brawl. Amanda Drake dominates... Colleen Masters and Alicia, Fo Alicia, Alicia Cole in a three-way dance. I have a little bit of a confrontation with Azrael just to let him know that it's the Anarchists in a six-man tag at next week's pay-per-view against three and against the mystery team. Tune in Thursday to find out what that mystery team is. I will reveal it on Thursday. So it'll be the anarchist in a six-man tag. I will reveal who the mystery team is that they will be facing next on Thursday, this Thursday, same time as today. I regain my hardcore title. That's right. I am now a two-time GMW hardcore champion. Yes, I beat Hannibal Black. The Lobos, smartly, I might add, get the count-out victory over the, uh, the Fallen Disciples. And Kurt Bishop and Suicide and Toxics match ended in a draw, double count out. And Trey Mercer made a statement and let him know, let his uh, opponent for next week know, which is the Big Amish, where he stands. Will we see the Big Amish before next week's pay per view? Hmm. So this Thursday, there'll be another, this coming Thursday, there'll be another one on one thing with The Undertaker. Undertaker will wrestle on Thursday, like OJJ did tonight. Undertaker will wrestle on Thursday. There'll be one more face-off with The Undertaker and OJJ as well this Thursday. Also this Thursday, it will be Loco Joe versus Tuba Man, one-on-one. -on -one. And as you clearly just saw there at the end of the Punishment Martinez match, Horse came out and attacked 
Punishment Martinez after the match, and it'll be Horse and Punishment Martinez this Thursday. Horse thinks that Martinez is trying to steal the spotlight from Horse because Horse will challenge Tuba Man next Thursday for the World Championship. Will we see Punishment Martinez versus Horse for the world title? Hmm. All will be revealed on Thursday. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, coming by. Thank you for the follows, the unfollows, the hosts, the sparks, everything, the lurks, the views. I appreciate you all. You guys make this easy. And like I said, it's a grind, and I don't stop from nobody. It says what it is there. It's a partner push, guys. This is what I'm going for now, guys. There's no sugarcoating it, if you will. Um, I will be back tomorrow with uh, Red Dead Redemption. Same time as today. If I can get on a little bit early, guys, I will. Um, so it'll be around about it'll be about half an hour early, maybe an hour early, six o'clock, seven o'clock, whatever. But it's it's seven o'clock. The schedule is down below in the description as well. Anything else you want to know down there is down below in the description as, as well. I will be back tomorrow with Red Dead Redemption. Like I say, it is probably going to be a betrayal session tomorrow because we're getting close to the end of the story now in Red Dead Redemption Two for the Xbox, and uh, we're getting close to the penultimate uh, stories. Or the penultimate angles towards the end of the story. The betrayal. Arthur's illness. You know. Maybe starting with John Moss. John as well. We don't know. Like I say. It's getting there guys. I think this might be the penultimate uh, episode tomorrow. The, the penultimate stream tomorrow for this uh, story mode. We don't know. Like I say. Anything can happen in this Red Dead Redemption series. Like I know. Also, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be more on this on Thursday as well. You know the matches for Thursday, same time on Thursday. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. My Discord is up there if you want to join it. You're more than welcome to do so. Hope to see you all tomorrow for Red Dead Redemption tomorrow, 7 o'clock UK time. My description, my schedule is down below in the description. Anything else you want to know, guys, is all down below in the description. I'll see you tomorrow for Red Dead, guys. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll see you tomorrow for Red Dead. Tomorrow is Outlaw Day. See you tomorrow.